In the new race for space, no document tells more about the state of aerospace in Texas than this document, originally commissioned by Governor Rick Perry. Three, two, one. As SpaceX started making inroads to what had until then been a totally government-run space program, Governor Perry prepared to sell the Lone Star State to the emerging space barons. Dr. Michael Bamba, now at the University of North Texas, authored the report. I was doing work with the governor's office. We, we did meet with uh, Jeff Bezos at one point to talk about uh, Blue Origin. We didn't learn too much about it, but it, it was an interesting experience. And we met with yeah. Bertan another time. And and uh, it, 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 was, like I said, it was a very exciting period back then because everybody was getting into this and, and uh, nobody knew what, exactly how it was going to turn <laughs> out. It turned out Texas had a strong foothold in aerospace and a good argument for growing the business. But at the time, NASA took a wait-and-see approach. What I saw working with the governor's office was there was, there was not a, a, a significant amount of interaction between our efforts and NASA. Um, at the time, NASA wasn't really interested in engaging yet with the commercial side. I think they were waiting to see how far it got along. Uh, there was the Bush administration and under the Obama administration a greater push for space commercialization because they realized that that, that was how it was going to have to move forward. Yeah, and, they will uh, get it off our balance sheet and have somebody else pay for it. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, it was really a funding issue. But lots of companies had already put funding into the Lone Star State. In Central Texas, Waco held big aerospace cards with SpaceX, L3, and Transdime subsidiary Marathon Norco. We found L3 very busy on our last visit to the site adjacent to the State Technical College. As L3 merged with the Florida-based Harris Corporation, TSTC leaders said they stood ready to up their game to supply new high-tech companies with a trained and ready workforce. We are excited about growing that workforce with L3, not just in our traditional graduate model, but also in customized training and providing needs for their specific contracts. TSTC not only quartered L3, but it also snagged Elon Musk's other big brand, Tesla, training mechanics and other good paying Tesla jobs. But you don't hear TSTC toot that particular horn very much. TSTC already partners with several aerospace and high tech companies, including some that have become household names. You say you haven't heard that? Well, it's no surprise there because these companies usually guard their trade secrets very closely. Whenever they deal with somebody from the outside like TSTC, they have what's called a non-disclosure agreement. TSTC doesn't talk about them, and they certainly don't talk about them. Other parts of the state tried to up their game. If they didn't have a big aerospace presence, they made it sound that way, usually by rebranding their airport. Did some of the airports re rename themselves as spaceports? How, <laughs> was, is that, was, that, was that a marketing gimmick more than anything? Um, Potentially. I mean, some of them may have had a client who was interested in space, you know, space commercialization activities. All the airport can do is, is be a good host, uh, but it's really up to the business to make it happen. And will businesses make it happen for Texas in the future? We'll have that in our next report. Dennis Turner, 25 News.